and I want to welcome everybody to our 41st Hall of Fame induction. I've been to a lot of these, and without question, this is one of the highlights of the athletic department every year. And I came to Potsdam in fall of 85. I was Jerry Walsh's assistant, and so I've seen tons of athletes come through here. And I'm not, I'm not trying to build them up or prop them up. Without question, Eduardo and Jordan are two of the best that we've ever had walk the halls of Maxi Hall. To introduce our next inductee is Wayne Wells. My name is Wayne Wells. I've been a youth hockey coach past 25 plus years. Hope oh, I can get through this. <laughs> I'm very honored to be here to talk about an amazing hockey player named Jordan Ott. When I first met Jordan, it was no different than the beginning of any hockey season. Coaches getting used to the players, players getting used to the coaches. I would say it was probably about four weeks into our practices when things start to intensify. You can definitely see that Jordan had a very high level skill set that she brought to the team. Um, for me, as a coach, when you see at a young age a player that can skate with her head up, read the ice, and command respect, it's truly amazing. There's also another side of Jordan that I found out she's extremely hard on herself. There was a practice that we just finished up and I think I remember Jordan just skating off the ice. I'm like, all right, what did one of the boys say to Jordan? So I went and I talked to her mom. Her mom had told me about Jordan being very hard on herself. From that moment on, I think that's when coach and player had a great friendship, great relationship, um, talked before games, talked after games, and basically worked out some little differences that she may have had at that time, which it didn't take much. Confidence. I think as a coach, there's three things that you cannot give a player. Heart, passion, and desire for the sport that you play. Jordan had all three of those. I'm extremely proud of Jordan, as if she was my own daughter, my own child. I am very grateful to be able to have coached her, and very proud. First off, I would like to congratulate Eddie, his family, coaches, friends, and teammates on his induction into the Hall of Fame. I greatly enjoyed watching you play, and I can think of no one more deserving of this recognition. And it's an honor for me to stand here next to you. Um, I would like to start by thanking Meshach, Mitch, the entire coaching staff, and everyone else involved in putting on this event for us. This is an incredible honor and something I will always remember for years to come. Also, thank you to everyone in attendance tonight. Many of you traveled in from out of town, and I appreciate you greatly, so thank you very much. When I think about Potsdam, I think of feeling at home. A lot of times I also think of toilets, temperatures below zero, and surgeries. But mostly I think of home. For seven years I lived in this tiny town, and since leaving I miss it every day. Anyone that's ever been a part of this community knows that, knows that this place slowly works its way into your heart, it changes you for the better, and it stays with you after you go. When I found out I was going to be inducted a few months ago, I began to think back on my time here at Potsdam, and something really specific stuck out to me about the memories that came to my mind first. People. None of the memories I thought of were just me. Every single one involved someone else from the Potsdam community. A friend, a teammate, a coach, a teacher. And it got me thinking about something that I already knew. Nothing I accomplished during my time here would have been possible or meant anything without the support and love I received from those around me. I don't really want to stand up here tonight and talk about scoring goals or hitting home runs. I just wish to convey my overall gratitude to those who have had a part in my athletic journey. There's no possible way for me to thank everyone who played a part in my successes over the years here, but I would like to highlight those who have impacted my life, not only athletically, but positively and in the intangible ways that have shaped the rest of my life. First, 
Thank you to all my coaches that have poured countless hours into me over 21 years of my life. Your impact on me goes far beyond the skills you taught me on the ice and the field, and I strive to be half the coach and role model that each of you were to me as I move forward in my career. Coach Wells, thank you for teaching me to be confident in myself, my own abilities, and for understanding that a good coach doesn't need anything more than a kind heart to impact their players and the way they see themselves. Coach Dillabo, thank you again for taking the time to come. Thanks for having faith in me as a young leader and allowing me the opportunity to play two sports. Much of the time I sacrificed during crossover season came at the softball team's expense, so thank you for your understanding and generosity. Coach Green, I was sad to hear you were unable to be in attendance tonight, but congrats on your own induction into Elmira's Hall of Fame. Jay is one of the only people I've ever met more stubborn than me, but he is unmatched in how deeply he cared for his players off the ice. Jay single-handedly gave me and my teammates some of the funniest memories here. He once ordered himself a family-sized bruschetta platter at a pregame meal. He would walk around the tables and eat people's leftovers at our pregame meals. He referenced the 72 Russians at least four times a practice. And he always used to say, grilled cheese hot chocolate when someone made a good play or he got excited. To this day, I'm still not sure any of us actually know what that means, but it cracked us up every time. I kid you not, he texted me today and said, congrats, grilled cheese hot chocolate. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Uh, Yost, I know your last name isn't Yost anymore, but I refuse to change your contact in my phone or call you Nicole. <laughs> Thank you for not only being a wonderful coach, but an even better friend and someone that I look up to greatly. You're hilarious, you continuously impress me, and Andrew and Olivia are pretty cool, so I guess we'll keep them around. I would also like to thank all my teammates and friends. I'm well aware that I'm the most competitive person on the face of the earth, and I held myself and my teammates to very high standards. That can sometimes be really hard to be around, so thank you for putting up with me for four years. I would not have won a single award or set a record without each of you being talented players in your own right and helping me get there. I would trade in every individual success and award I received for all of us have the opportunity to have won more or competed for championships, but we had a hell of a good time anyways. To those of you that are here tonight, you guys are some of my closest friends, and I appreciate each of you for the happiness you brought to my time here. Above all else, I would like to thank my family. I tell people this all the time, but I think my parents would be millionaires if they didn't put me through sports. When I say that my mom, dad, and sister got dragged to every rink, park, field, and complex across North America for 20 years, I don't think that's an exaggeration. We put so many miles on so many vehicles, racked up so many hotel points, stopped at so many Dairy Queens, and crossed international borders more times than I can count, and never once did they tell me I couldn't go somewhere or couldn't do something. We've had one hell of a year as a family, and this has been the worst year of my life. Sorry. Um, but you three kept me going. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to keep my job, my house, or probably my sanity. As tough as it has been for all of us, I know you'd support me because you supported me through everything always. <sighs> Sorry. Mom, you are an organizational and scheduling genius. Um, how you got me to soccer at noon, softball at three, and hockey in seven at three different zip codes while also making sure I was fed so I didn't get too cranky. Prepared with clean jerseys for each and not missing a cleat or elbow pad is beyond me. Um, then Brady decided she wanted to do sports, and let's be honest, you managed Dad's life too. And you balanced it all without missing a beat, and it was amazing. You are the most selfless person I know. I would never have been able to do all the things that I did, or at least not have shown up on time without you. Dad, you are one hell of a coach, the best I've ever had. All the other kids that paid for hitting lessons, skating instructions, fancy this or that, we never did that. You stood in front of literally millions of baseballs, soccer balls, hockey pucks, footballs, anything that could kick, hit, or throw. You let me absolutely pelt you with all of them and never got mad even when I would sting your hand or drill your shin with a baseball. You held that yellow and black hit stick for hours on end until your hands would ring while I worked on hitting. The countless hours you would spend playing catch with me in the yard, watching sports with me at night, building me hockey rinks in the backyard every winter and being a total dad trying to perfect the art of an at-home Zamboni system. <laughs> Those are the reasons why I accomplished what I did here. We broke a few windows and doors along the way and our siding on the house has definitely seen better days, but it was a ton of fun. Brady, I've always thought the world of you, but no more than I did this past year. You were asked to carry so much and did it with maturity, grace, and a smile on your face, even though I know you are struggling just like the rest of us. I think you're amazing. You don't ever let your own hardship stop you from pursuing your goals and dreams, and I'm so excited to see what you do next. Thanks for always being my biggest fan. I will always be yours.
And lastly, I promise I'm almost done. Thank you, Potsdam. Um, you get, have gifted me so many experiences, relationships, memories, and lifelong lessons. Potsdam has given me a